Welcome to Austria. I'm Emily Garrison and this is Around the World in 80 Bottles. Now this is our first week in Austria. We're going to spend five weeks here and for the first week I want to focus on asparagus. I was lucky enough to be in Austria during Spargel season which is white asparagus season and when I came home I was craving asparagus non-stop. You can do this with white asparagus during the season or you can do it with green any time of the year that you can find good asparagus. And it's a really simple recipe and people who like asparagus and people who don't have both really enjoyed this. Now what we're going to do is we're going to start off with garlic and butter and we're going to get those nice and brown, add a little flour for a roux, and then we're going to add our asparagus. You can use the large or the small asparagus. It doesn't matter. Either one will work. I actually am doing a combination today. And we want to chop it up into pieces about an inch long. So we're just going to add those into our soup along with four cups of chicken broth. And you can use bought broth or stock and you can make your own. Either one will work but I do encourage you if you're going to buy it to do the low sodium because this soup is actually going to be really healthy. It does not taste it at all but it's very healthy. And then we're going to cook that down and then we're going to add some spinach and our spices. Now when we talk about packed spinach, I actually took my measuring cup that I used to measure the flour for our soup and packed in my spinach because you want it to be nice and packed so you get that good amount of flavor. So we're just going to add that and our spices and we're going to cook down the soup. So the soup's going to cook for a total of 30 minutes before we cream it. And we're going to take a look at that in just a moment. We've just cooked everything in the pot down for 25 minutes, added our spinach and our seasoning and cooked it for five more minutes. And then I use an immersion blender when I'm pureeing mine and you just simply put it in there, move it around. If you don't have an immersion blender, you can just do it in batches in your blender or your food processor. Just be careful because it is hot and you can do it, cool it down, put it back in the pot and get it a little bit warmed up again. It's no big deal. I did this for years in a blender. So once you get it back in the pot, all blended, you want to add your cream. Now I use Quimic. Quimic is our food item of the week and Quimic is a heavy cream substitute. It's got half the fat of heavy cream. You can use it just as you would. You can substitute it in almost any recipe and in something like this it's going to melt right down, look exactly like cream once you get it in there, but it's a lot more heart healthy and a lot more guilt free so that I can enjoy some of these soups that I used to have on special occasions. And with this being a low fat um, substitute, we actually have a very healthy soup. Asparagus, spinach, low sodium stock, and all you want to do is add that cream right in. And then it's ready to serve. It's very, very simple to make this soup. It just takes about half an hour of cooking time. So once you get this ready, all you have to do is ladle it. Very easy, delicious, and nutritious. No one would ever know it because it's a cream based soup. So it feels like it's a splurge. But now you know my secret. Delicious, easy, and fantastic with a Sauvignon Blanc from Glatzer, a winery known for their Gruner Veltliner. But their Sauvignon Blanc for the 2010 vintage is fantastic. The acidity level is very high, has a nice winter green, sweet dried um, herb note that I think is really nice with the asparagus. It gives it a real lift and it's grounded in the green notes. So you have a bit of a mirror there in what's the same between the wine and the food so that you know why it's supposed to go together, but they don't completely taste the same. And it also, because it's a cold wine with your hot soup, it adds that extra element of hot versus cold on your palate, which is very refreshing and nice for these winter months. I hope you enjoy it, and I'll see you next week in Austria on Around the World in 80 Bottles. Cheers!